What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back. Okay. I told you I was gonna start filming more. Uh, last week, I was gonna do it, and then my whole house got sick. Everybody was sick. And okay, let's just be honest. Okay, let's, let's just be honest. When a guy gets sick, when a guy gets sick, ladies, if your husband's been sick, your boyfriend's been sick, your man's been sick, you know what I'm talking about, okay. Biggest babies in the world, okay? So, that's what I was dealing with. <laughs> that's what I was dealing with. No, um, no, but for real, you guys, uh, yeah, everybody was sick. Oscar was sick as a dog, so I was helping him with what he needed, you know, doing girlfriend -y things. I would say wifey things, but you already know. Anyways, <coughs> I've gotten what she me. <coughs> That's God punching me for a fucking crap in my head. Um. Okay, so today I'm gonna get very personal with you guys. You know, I always keep it hundred. I always keep it real with you guys. Um, I'm gonna kind of explain on why I haven't been filming, what's been going on, some things I've learned that are very shocking. I'm gonna do a little rant. This is my very first mukbang, kinda. It wasn't gonna be a mukbang, okay? I've never. I don't. I don't like them. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't like this or like the ASMR things. I can't with that. Um, but I'm hungry and I need to film and I'm on a time limit. So it kind of turned into one. First of all, I'm eating Wiener Schnitzel. I don't care if you guys say it's nasty. It's not. It's freaking bomb. Um, fun fact, when I was pregnant, this is all I wanted. All I wanted to eat. I would always drag off there with me. That was a corn dog, but I ate it because I was hungry and I have no self-control. Um, okay. I'm going to start with my rant. Okay. Hold on. Let me take this off. This is what I really want. So I got chili fries and two hot dogs and I'm not even gonna finish all of that. I don't know why I did that. Okay, but wait, let me tell you about my rant. So I've always gone to Wiener Central, right? Whatever, whatever. Tell me why I went today. I got a number one, right? The combo number one. So it's two hot dogs, a drink, and fries. But I upgraded the fries to chili fries because I mean, duh. Anyways. Tell me why I get to the window and this girl, I would say woman, but she wasn't a woman. This is a girl. She's like 1750. What the fuck? 1750 for a combo? What am I at? Carl's Jr.? Like seriously? I thought she But I couldn't go back because I was hungry, right? So what did I do? I paid. But what else did I do? I called another Wiener Schnitzel. I asked them how much. I asked them how much would it be for this, and I gave them my exact order. They said thirteen dollars. I'm like, okay, then why did I almost pay twenty dollars at this other location? And she's like, okay, well because different locations have different prices. So don't go to the Wiener Schnitzel in Pacoima because they're expensive. Okay, I don't live in Pacoima. But I was in the area, right? And I was hungry and I saw a Wiener Schnitzel. That's not the one I usually go to. I usually go to the one on Laurel Canyon in Studio City. That's the one I go to. I've always gone to that one. I drive all the way over there. But I'm like, okay, I'm in the area, whatever. <sighs> but did I go back? No, I didn't go back. Because why? Because I'm hungry. Hmm. I don't know what happened. They're cold. Okay. That was my rant. I'm sorry. Okay, but like it doesn't make sense because they have a they have like a family pack, and it's like, and I know these family packs because my family and I always get them because we all love Wiener Schnitzel. It's like four hot dogs, four drink. No, it's four hot dogs, four fries, and four corn dogs for fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. But two hot dogs, a fry, and a drink is like almost twenty dollars. What do you think about that? 
Am I being cheap? Or do I have a point? He don't care. He just wants my food. Okay. That was my rant. What else? Oh. I don't know if you guys know this or not. And I hope I don't ruin your childhood because mine was kind of ruined when I found this out. Did you guys know Ramon Ayala is not a singer? All the songs he has, like the album, that's not him singing. Mm -mm. But, like he kind of sings, but it's not him. So you're like, oh, I feel like I listen to Ramon Ayala. Mm -mm. Middle accordion, yeah, for sure, 100%, that's him. But singing? Mm -mm. I found that out because my aunt went to go look at this band for her daughter's skin set. And, and the guy who sings with Ramon Ayala was there. And yeah, I didn't know that. He's just the accordion player. He's not the singer. My life is like, my whole childhood, I'm like, I grew up listening to all that, you know? And then to find that out, right before Christmas. <laughs> no, this is like around Thanksgiving. Yeah. But who knew? I didn't know that. I Did you guys know that? If you guys knew that, comment down below. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. So he's not the singer. Let me see. Let me play a song. Like a famous song. Okay, perfect. Everybody knows this song. Hold on. Battle watch the ads. <laughs> okay, everybody knows this song, right? You hear it when you're drunk. They play it at the rounds games. They play it everywhere. This is not him singing. Hold on. That's not him singing. Did he just the accordion? <laughs> yeah. Our life is a lie. It's a lie. Unless you already knew that. I don't know about it. Okay. I just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay. Now time to get a little serious. Time to get a little personal. I don't even know. It's like, okay, so like a little over two months ago, I got really sick. Um, not like sick, like coughing and all that. Well, no, not like that. Okay, pretty much I have like this skin condition, this dermatology condition. Is that how you would say it? I'm trying to put it in like professional way to where it doesn't sound gross. Uh, no, but I have like this skin condition and obviously it's with your skin and it's very very painful uh, i would tell you guys what it's called but then you're gonna google it and it's really gross when you google it like it's not even like that so i'm not gonna tell you guys what it's called but a lot of people suffer from it um it's kind of they call it like the hidden flag or something like that i mean i'm not contagious or nothing like that like I'm just making it sound way worse than it is. I mean, it's bad. Don't get me wrong, it's bad. Like, it'll knock you down. Cause it knocked me down. And um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. In my head, I had this all planned out. And then like, I'm trying to say it and like, it's not coming out how I had it in my head. Pretty much, I, had this, I have this skin condition. Um, it's really bad. There is no cure. It's not fatal. Um, a lot of people have it. Nobody really likes to talk about it. It's kind of embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but it's just kind of something you don't want to talk about. Um, it is very painful at times. Um, there are points to where I could not even get out of bed. I couldn't take Nathan to school. Um, you know, I couldn't do a lot. I missed out on a lot of things. Uh, you guys saw, well most of you guys saw Oscar went, recently went to Paris and to London and I could have went 
but I couldn't because of my like because of the condition I was in there was no way in how I'd be able to be on a 10 12 hour flight like I just I couldn't and then like that really put me into a depression because I'm like this illness is taking over my body and it's taking over my life and I fell into like a depression because your mind your mind just goes there and I wanted to talk about this because you know I think it's really important for people to talk about their mental health like we all go through shit like we really do and we don't talk about it and we should be able to talk about it you know like like if you're feeling depressed you should be able to talk about it to somebody and like try to help yourself because I know for a fact like if I didn't have my friends and I didn't have my family I don't know what would have happened you know what I mean I was just there like that's just where I was mentally you know and it's like when you're in pain and nothing helps you and like you go from not even taking Tylenol you know to being on like seven eight different heavy medications it messes with you it messes with your body you feel like crap you know it messes with your mind you know and i don't know it was really hard and even now it's hard for me it's hard for me like i've i've gotten so into the routine of being scared to move being scared to do things to where it's like okay marissa you can't let this take over your life more than it already has you know what i mean so it's like i'm trying to like push myself into doing things and like vlogging like like i love to vlog i love to talk to you guys you know it gives me like in a weird way like a sense of purpose because i always get your messages i'm like you know like how much i help you guys and everything so i'm like i gotta keep going and like i can't give up you know what i mean like in a way this is kind of like my therapy like talking to you guys and like having conversations with you and everything so uh yeah the these these past couple of months have been really tough it's been really hard and i don't know so i don't know i'm just really trying to get back into the habit of filming again <laughs> you guys see him hi how are you what's he doing but enough of that i'm okay we're gonna get better i'm gonna get better we're all gonna be okay we're gonna get through this together um so yeah once again thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.